We're here at IBC 2018 and we're going to take a closer look at what NewTac has to offer. Rep Shark at IBC 2018 is brought to you by... Intox! NewTac! Adobe! Black Magic Design. Brian, you're, yes. you're, the, you're the man to talk to, talk to uh, for all the new products that are out right now. So can Lots you... of news from NewTek. Yeah, right? Yeah. So tell me about, let's start with NDI. Yes. We all know NDI by now. So it's the third anniversary of NDI. So three years at this show, we announced NDI. And it's really exceeded our expectations, way beyond what we thought. So right now we have over a thousand companies that are either shipping or developing NDI enabled applications. So we like to say there's probably tens of millions of viewers of NDI right now. It's really turned into the, the world's largest IP video ecosystem out there right now, which is you know, pretty amazing. Um, as far as new things with NDI, version 3.7 will be shipping uh, right after the show. Uh, and it includes now a new embedded SDK for hardware implementations. So for companies that want to do FPGA implementations of NDI, uh, they'll be able to do that. So for camera manufacturers, monitor manufacturers. We also have a stream analysis tool now that allows uh, administrators and engineers to actually look at their NDI network and see if all the streams are working properly, you know, start to look for anomalies, things like that. So this is sort of the beginning of, uh, you know, a suite of tools that we would like to eventually build for administrative uh, purposes. Um, also, there's some enhancements to NDI as far as working better on networks that aren't ideal, you know, that have a lot of latency in them. Uh, we've also improved uh, the quality of the codec and done some enhancements to the NDI tool set as well. So lot, lots of stuff happening with NDI there. Um, also, the, the way we got the hardware uh, implementation was through our ConnectSpark Pro now, our, the world's first portable 4K converter that converts uh, 4K as HDMI to NDI. Um, so we think uh, there's probably going to be a real big demand for that. And that's full bandwidth uh, NDI. Um, so that's, uh, those, two, those two things are probably the biggest news from the show. We're also shipping uh, premium access now, which is uh, currently, this is a way for users to subscribe through a subscription and get ongoing enhancements to, uh, to our products. But there are six premium features that we're shipping immediately. Uh, one is live graphics, so that's uh, our ability to do Adobe After Effects in real time. Uh, we've also included our live panel, our, our software panel building tool as part of this. Um, also, uh, advanced audio I.O. So we can take up to 64 channels of network audio in and out of our live production systems, either as Dante or AES67. Um, we've also got uh, NDI KVM. So this allows users to basically have both the UI and all their multi-viewers as NDI sources on the network. So imagine sitting at your desktop and calling up a UI for a TriCaster clicking on the KVM button and basically taking control of uh, your production right from your desk. So that's, that's pretty exciting. Also, virtual PTZ is the ability to take any source that we have and do you know, virtual camera moves on it or actually create different shots based on that source and assign them to different inputs uh, on, on your TriCaster or VMC. So that basically means that, well, in theory, you could have like one shot and then have like exactly sub shots. It probably there. works best if you start with, let's say, a 4K camera. Yeah. And then if you're doing an HD or 3G show, you know, you can you can set multiple camera shots and actually cut cameras or do the virtual camera moves without any sort of robotic camera head or PTZ. So that adds a lot of production power. We're also giving uh, premium access users to access to all of our virtual set library. So pick one you like and and off you go. So. That's, that's going to add a lot of production value to uh, for our customers. Also, um, version 7 of our software for VMC and TC1 will be shipping after the show. Um, this has a number of enhancements, but some of the main ones are uh, the ability to do um, express mode, which is sort of a simple mode for people that maybe our, our UI looks too complicated for you know, novice users. You can go into express mode, and you have a much, much simpler interface 
you know, fewer buttons, fewer multi-viewers, and you know, it's much easier to switch a show that way. Um, also, touchscreen support. So this is the first time we've made our products touchscreen compatible. Uh, so for people that don't want to use the mouse, you can actually go right to the screen and touch the areas and configure things in a, in a really efficient way. Is, this um, then, is then that moving closer to live panels, or shouldn't I say that? Um, yes and no. It, it's, it's still using our standard interface, but we've, uh, we've changed the UI design a little bit to make it touch friendly. So a lot of, uh, especially newer, younger people are used to working phones and tablets, and their natural thing is they want to go touch the screen. Well, now they can. So um, anyway, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, you know, there's some other things, uh, the PTZ expansion, some advanced configuration control are also part of that up, upgrade. Um, our uh, NC1 IO IP will be shipping very shortly, so that's SMPTE 2110. Uh, to NDI, four streams in or out, which uh, is really for broadcasters, makes them feel a lot comfortable about implementing uh, NDI because they know they can get in and out of 2110 if, if, if they're either planning to go to it or they already have it. So that's, that's really great. And then also our uh, remote storage, New Tech Remote Storage. This is a, a, an OEM, a partnership with SNS, so we say powered by SNS. Uh, best of breed uh, remote storage either in a desktop system. This is a four bay, 24 terabyte. There's also an eight bay, 48 terabyte, and a 96 terabyte, 16 bay that are uh, that are available in, in the line. So this gives customers a way to buy a complete system from New Tech without having to go out to a third party to buy storage. So that's that's kind of why we did that. We're also showing uh, Viz Mosart integration at the show. So best of breed production automation on our VMC uh, live production system. So it's a, it's a lot, but it's that's, a lot that's, that's what we've got anyway. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. If you don't want to miss anything from IBC 2018, then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, hit that button.